Since post-colonial times, Chileans' farmers' life has been pretty similar, suffering labor exploitation, abuses, and endless work in the big farms. In exchange for their job, they receive a piece of land for agricultural farming, having always to give half of their harvest to the landowner, living in precarious conditions to work from dawn to sunset was the norm. In the 20th centuries, and thanks to social movements and the motto, Lands to whom works on it, farmers got improvements on their labor rights, and the expropriation of big farms proceeds in order to redeploy the lands. This was called the Agrarian Reform, an historical milestone in Chile. During the Agrarian Reform, the state of Chile gives to the new farmers ownership titles and land allocation records prioritizing those workers from all farms and their families. So, for five years, land distribution is consolidated between Eduardo Frei Montalvas to Salvador Allende Gossen's period. This process was brutally interrupted by Pinochet's military dictatorship, who from 1973 started to give back large extensions of land to the old landowners and foreign collaborators. This film tries to connect El Melon's farmer history. In red and purple are the lands that belong to the farmers but were given to the foreign companies. In green, special common land number one and number two, with an extension close to 12,000 hectares. Until this moment in history, farmers see their quality of life improved, cultivating their own land. In 1985, Disputada Las Condes Mining Company, through an ethically questionable pact, gets an agreement with some compropriators to build in one fraction of the special common land number one, the tailing dam El Torito. This agreement was signed for people that were not even part of the community members or co-propriators of that special common land being legalized by the mining company through the law court from the city of La Calera. This tailing dam, El Torito, is the first tangible measure committed in detriment of the co-propriators from agrarian reform in El Melón by the mining company Disputada Las Condes, nowadays Anglo-American Sur, appropriating about 248 hectares of the special common land number one. Meanwhile, the farmers' lives kept going without noticing the damage that this event meant for the future life quality of the entire community. During the first days of the 21st century, El Soldado Field is bought by the giant mining company Anglo American Sur, transnational with registered headquarters in London, one of the biggest mining companies of the world. In 2005, the community grants the mining company access to the special common land number two, allowing them to enter and exploit Caquisito Field. Located in the southern part of El Melon Cordillera, which was declared by the United Nations Development Program and the National Environment Commission, CONAMA, in 2002, as priority territory for the conservation of biodiversity in Mediterranean Chile. This mining exploitation causes irreparable damages to the natural territory, which stands out nationally and internationally due to its high endemism and conservation status of the species. In 2004, El Torito I tailing dam ends its useful life, so for its expansion, Anglo-American Sur, due to the new environmental legislation in Chile, must get into the environmental impact assessment system, thus being a question and controversial project by the existence of the endemic native species Belloto del Norte, natural monument vulnerable to extinction. 
This expansion generates great rejections in the community due to the fact that in 1965, as a result of an earthquake in the town of La Liwa, occurs the disaster of El Cobre, as consequence from the tailing dam collapse of 10 million tons that buried, mutilated, and disappeared hundreds of people in the community. Yo soy nacida y criada en esta en Melón, que era la hacienda Melón. Y resulta que llegó ese día del, del temblor, que fue el 28 de marzo, de que a las, como a las dos horas después supimos lo que había pasado en el cobre. Que eso fue por el pueblo del Melón que pasaba el estero y llevaba todas las... inclusive lleva, llevaba frigider, cocina, lavadora, cadáveres, todo eso llevaba. Claro. Y después, me, me acuerdo yo que después en la morgue de Calera eran puras cabezas, piernas, cuerpo, irreconocible, porque eso mi cuñado lo conoció mi papá, lo reconoció, porque mi, mi cuñado no tenía pierna, no tenía un brazo, todo esto yo tira, entonces lo reconoció porque mi cuñado tenía la costumbre de ponerse una faja aquí y esa faja no se le salió porque el camisa no había nada, pantalón un, unos pedazos. Entonces eh, lo reconoció por eso y porque estaba en la misma casa eh, eh, atrapado con el árbol. During these years, 2018 and 2019, Anglo American undergoes a new environmental impact assessment to expand El Torito Tailing Dam again, this time by 30% of its current capacity until 2027. Assuming publicly for the first time the pollution that was generated to the aquifers, downstreams of the tailings. This is in the rural drinking water and irrigation water. In 2011, Anglo-American Sur once again intends to exploit the Caquisito field. Being this a historical milestone, the entire community rejects the mining company's entrance to the special common land, frustrating his extractive intentions. From that moment, Anglo-American Sur, like in all ethics, begins to buy the rights of special common lands to those most vulnerable and in need owners of the community. During the current administrations of the community, and with the support of Playanchas University, a subdivision of the lower parts of the special common lands has been processed, finally achieving the delivery of new plots which was historically desired by the community members of the agrarian reform or its descendants, delivering new plots to each of the legitimate owners, considering only a 15% of the total of the properties or special common lands. Unfortunately, Anglo-American Sur Mining Company is intervening negatively in our territory, generating division and bad practices opposing to the delivery of land and carrying out actions to confuse the members of our agricultural community with the sole purpose of achieving their mining objectives without considering the will of the historical owners of these lands. Que es lo más importante, porque es un proceso caro. No vamos a llegar a acuerdo. Ahora, hay casos particulares en que claramente no vamos a llegar a acuerdo y en esos casos particulares se ejercerán las acciones legales que se tengan que ejercer. Eso también es para la actividad de todos, que la idea es ser bueno, generar el diálogo, tener buena fe, pero la buena fe tiene un límite. For all the above, the agricultural community strongly says. 
No more intervention of Anglo-American Sur in the community of El Melón. We want to decide the future of our community. Thank you.